What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Film study for rookies today. We're going over Jameer Gibbs. This dude is a flat out beast. He's only a rookie, but man, the potential on him looks amazing. Let's jump into the film and figure out what are we working with. First play right here, he's going to get hit in the backfield. Now there was potential on here, right? But the DB's got him in the backfield. Let's take a look and figure out what went wrong real quick. So before we get to the play, the Lions are going to take this tight end right here. He's going to pull over here. This tight end is going to chip 94. Leave it for this tight end right here. Basically, he's going to have backside. This tight end is going to get second level and create the lane for the running back. As we let the play run a little bit, take a look what happens. You're going to have both the receivers basically coming untouched. Now, the reason that's a problem is because this tight end right here, he was expecting to chip this end, as you're going to see, and leave for 89 to seal that backside. This receiver, however, was supposed to be picked up. Here comes the problem. 94 is going to come in and... The DB is going to come in. So this tight end has to pick one or the other one. Basically a lose-lose. On top of that, this receiver doesn't really even chip this DB. So now he's in the backfield. He's going to make him miss. But like I said before, 89 has to pick up the DB that doesn't get blocked. Or the end, as you're going to see there. It's a lose-lose. He evades the DB but gets hit by the end man. Not a big deal. Things happen. First game of the season. Let's jump to the next play. It's much better. Right here, I love what the Lions do. They take advantage of Chiefs being that nickel formation. The blocks get out in front of Jameer Gibbs, and man, makes two guys miss, bruh. Let's run this back. So I love what the Lions did right here. Chiefs in a nickel formation. They've got two linebackers in the box. Watch what happens when they bring this receiver in motion. So we're going to let the play run. Boom. You take the mic out of the box. Now that's huge because really, they had two in the box, and now there's one. Now this linebacker is worried about this receiver, so he can't get over here and make a play. Now they're going to have the center, boom, and the guard. They're both going to pull, as you're going to see. So as the play develops, you're going to see the guard. He's going to kick out that DB. 77 is going to wrap around, take out that linebacker, man. And Gibbs only has to make one guy miss, which is a DB. Look at that perfect blocking. As you're going to see, he's going to make the DB miss. Here comes another defender. Tries to do the same thing. Doesn't work, man. Doesn't work. Great stuff by the Lions right here. I love what they did. They bring the guy in motion. Take that linebacker out of the box. Great blocking, man. Let's jump to the next one. On this play, I thought for sure Gibbs was going to score, man. I thought for sure he was about to take it for six. The Lions, man, they run that motion and it works perfectly. Let's run it back so you guys can see. So as you're going to see right here, Brown's going to come across. Now watch the defense. They're all going to go over here. Then Gibbs is going to act like he's going to go up like a little dive. Cuts that thing out, man. They all suck in. All of them suck in, as you're going to see. And look at the DB's hips. They're going that way. Gibbs sees that. Tries to cut it out and just slips, man. Oh, he had it. He just slips and falls. This dude, he's quick, athletic, he's patient. But, man, he's also fast, too. Great blocking right here. Just make this one guy miss. And he had it for six. Oh, so, so close. Let's go to the next one. So remember on the last one, we talked about Brown coming in motion and everybody follows. As you can see right here, they don't follow. In fact, McDuffie drops back. Take a look at this. So here's the problem with McDuffie dropping back like that. we got strong side over here. With McDuffie dropping back basically into a cover three, we've got three blockers. Boom, boom to whoever, and the DB is going to get blocked. So Jared's going to see McDuffie drop back, immediately dumps it off to Gibbs, and here's the problem. Like I said in that 3 3 5, we've got strong side over here. So now these linebackers immediately have to travel all the way over there just to make the play. Gibbs does a great job catching at the 30 and just turns that thing up the field. I mean, look at that burst, right? Take a look at this. Catches it at the 30 and just turns that thing up, man. Easy, almost 15 yards right there. Great play call once again by the Lions, man. This dude, this dude has some wheels. Let's keep it going. Lions fans, right here is going to be the last play we're going to go over it after, but man, the blocking by everybody is crazy. Gibbs doesn't get touched for the first 5 to 10 yards, and then once again makes another guy miss. Let's go over this again. So as we break down this last play, great blocking right here. So center's going to pull, as you're going to see. He takes the end, right? So we let the tackle take out that middle linebacker right there. Boom. Great blocking. But what about this outside linebacker? Brown's going to take him out. Take a look. Boom. He takes him out of the play. Whew. Then you got this tight end right here. Who's he going to take out? The DB. Boom. Takes him out. I mean, the blocking, guys, is crazy. Look at the hole he has. Nobody's going to touch him. Even when you do, you're still not bringing him down. Lions fans, 
I know you guys like Gibbs. Congrats on that pick, man. I can't wait to see what he does this season. Stay tuned. More content coming soon. And next week, Gibbs will most likely be back on the channel. Take it easy, guys.